Hi everybody, this is Erica Willison with Rustline Sotheby's International Realty and the Foothills Property Group. And today I'd like to introduce you to 6621 East Sharon Drive in beautiful Scottsdale, Arizona. This Arizona classic slump block home was built in 1976. It features four bedrooms, two and a half baths, and is almost 2,300 square feet. Let's take a look at the inside. You'll notice the fountain in front is for decoration, but doesn't it add a beautiful element to the front yard? And here's a quick pan of the homes on the other side of the street, all beautifully maintained over the years. As we pan to the east, there's actually a view of the McDowell Mountains just slightly obscured behind that olive tree. Welcome home. As we enter this beautiful home, we'll notice a sunken living room off to my left. And that is actually the only step in the house. There's two small steps. And right behind that is the formal dining room. Both rooms have two large windows that look to the front of the home. Just past the entry foyer is the family room. And this family room features very high ceilings and clerestory windows above. You can see the actual wood beams. And then there's an Arcadia door that goes to the outside. This fireplace is a wood burning fireplace, which in today's era, you're not allowed to build them anymore. So that's a real plus. Behind the family room is the kitchen. The kitchen features a large breakfast area and this kitchen has been very well maintained throughout the years. In fact, the countertop is the original countertop from 1976 and you can see how clean it is. Great view from the sink out to the back patio and out to the pool. Let's check out the outside. This is a fabulous backyard. In fact, the lot is almost one quarter acre and it features a large covered patio. The covered patio goes the entire length of the home and there is a pool fence that is partially here and that could easily be expanded to fence off the entire pool if you wish to do that. At the end of the patio is a beautiful orchid tree already in bloom and a little extra storage with double RV gates. Here's another view of the covered patio. The double door at the end of this patio is actually the master bedroom. The backyard is a paradise with this beautiful sparkling pool that was just replastered five years ago and updated. The main drain is actually the new main drain that's required by today's code. In addition, there are several fruit trees, including orange, grapefruit, here's a fig tree, and right behind me is also a lemon tree. Standing underneath the citrus grove, here's a view to the side yard. This used to be a garden that could easily be brought back to life. There are more citrus going down on the side as well. As I walk towards the east, you can see how much shade these trees have given this backyard and it smells so good with all the citrus blooms. You'll have plenty of area to play and entertain on this big patio and the pool is also a very large size. The kitchen features quite a lot of cabinetry and a workspace. And right behind me is the formal dining room through these two doors. Notice the fun vintage chandelier. Dining nook right inside the kitchen. This refrigerator is included with the purchase as is another refrigerator in the mudroom which is right behind these doors as we walk through the doorway, we're walking into the laundry room and access to the two car garage. This is very convenient as there's quick, easy access to the backyard. And here's that second fridge. Let me show you the bedrooms back at the front door. We will come in and turn right. And as we walk down this hallway, there are four bedrooms, three guest bedrooms, 
including the first bedroom, which is the largest of the three, and this is located at the front of the home. It features a ceiling fan with a light, and it has a nice large closet. As we walk down the hallway, we're going to come to the guest bath. The guest bath is quite large also, features two vanities and a skylight. Here's a view of guest bedroom number two. And adjacent to that is guest bedroom number three. The master bedroom is situated at the end of the hallway and it is quite a large room. You have lots of wall space to accommodate king size beds and additional furniture. This sliding glass door goes to the outside patio. Looking at the master bath, the shower has just been recently retiled. The bath features two vanities with these really cool vintage lights that if you're not interested in them, the seller would love to keep them. Thank you so much for joining me on this video tour. This is Erica Willison with Russ Lyons Sotheby's International Realty and the Foothills Property Group. Bye for now.